All right, so Auntie Fuma calls the family and Kimberly mentions that they probably would have missed the call if they'd gone to church, but they hadn't because Papa had felt too bad, said he needs to lie down. Remember, like all these signs are that Papa is really sick. He says it's just allergies, but there's something seriously wrong with him. Of course, we're like, he deserves it, but then we're just kind of like, what's going on? Anyway, so Papa's sick. They don't go to church. Auntie Fuma calls and she says she has been fired. She says, they have given me notice of termination for what they call illegal activity. I have one month. I have applied for a visa at the American Embassy and Father Amadi has been notified. He is leaving for missionary work in Germany at the end of the month. So Auntie Fum was like, yeah, I gotta go. I don't have a job. And Father Amadi is being sent to Germany. Kambili says, it was a double blow. I staggered. It was as if my calves had sacks of dried beans tied to them. Auntie Fuma asked for Jaja and I nearly tripped, nearly fell to the floor as I went to his room to call him. So now it's like those trees that were being uprooted outside in the storm. Well, that's Kambili. Kambili has been uprooted. She had finally found in Sukkah this place where she felt like she could stand. She felt firm, like she could grow. But now Auntie's leaving, so she's uprooted. She's falling down. She feels like she can't walk. What is she going to do? How can she maintain this new confidence, this new sense of self when she doesn't have in Sukkah? So Jaja talks to Auntie Fuma and then he gets off the phone and he's like, you know what? We're going to Itsuka. He does not ask Papa. He goes in the room. Um, the book says after Jaja talked to Auntie Fuma, he put the phone down and said, we're going to Itsuka today. We will spend Easter in Itsuka. Now, think about it. If you have a super religious father, Easter is one of the major Christian holidays. He would want his children there, especially if he's a leader in the church. And it's like, where are your kids? Oh, they went to... My aunt, I mean, you know, he wouldn't like that. I did not ask him what he meant or how he would convince Papa to let us go. I watched him knock on Papa's door and go in. We are going to Insuka, Kimbili and I, I heard him say. I did not hear what Papa said. Then I heard Jaja say, we are going to Insuka today, not tomorrow. If Kevin will not take us, we will still go. We will walk if we have to. So apparently Papa probably said something along the lines of, well, Kevin can't take you today. And Jaja's like, yeah, no, but we're going to go and we'll walk. Like, I don't care what you have to say. So Kambili's standing in front of the staircase. She's shaking. She's just so petrified. Um, she goes into her room and sits by the window and looking out at a tree. Jaja comes in to say Papa had agreed that Kevin could take us. It doesn't seem like Jaja gave Papa much of an option. He packed his bag very quickly. Then they go downstairs and tell Kevin to take them. Kevin's like, who's going to take your dad to church? Um, he can't drive himself. He's not feeling well. And Jaja's just staring at Kevin. Um, and Kevin says, he said it's okay. Now, that is really important because... He didn't say it's okay. We don't know. Kambili doesn't know that. So Kambili is speaking up and she's possibly lying to find Papa. So, you know, you go, girl. Women's History Month. Great job, Kambili. All right. So they go to Insuka. Everything's chaotic there. Auntie Fuma is applying for a visa because she has a job offer. And then Father Amadi comes. Look, this is really weird. A mosquito bites her and he's like, oh, that mosquito really seems to like you. No, that's. No, but anyway, he's like being affectionate towards her in like his priestly way. He's not crossing any lines, but he's making weird comments on mosquitoes. Anyway, he's like, you look worried. And she's like, well, yeah, my aunt's about to leave. Um, I don't want to go home to my father. I don't know what he's going to do when we go back. We basically defied him to come here, but Auntie Fum is going. Like, what can we do? So Father Amadi says, your aunt thinks you and Jaja should go to boarding school. I'm going to Anugu. That's where um, Papa lives. I'm going to Anugu next week to talk to Father Benedict. I know your father listens to him. Okay, so Father Monty's like, look, I'm just going to talk to Papa's priest. I will ask him to convince your father about boarding school so you and Jaja can start next term. It will be fine, Anugu. So basically, the plan is get Kimberly and Jaja out of the house. They'll go to boarding school. So that's that. Just got to get him away from Papa. All right, so the last couple questions are, how has Kim really changed? Well, she told Papa, she told Kevin, Papa said it's okay to drive them. And then also when they're in Sukkah, Papa calls and if Jaja doesn't go to the phone, and neither does she. She tells Father and Mari she doesn't want to go back. So I think it's pretty clear how she has changed. Uh, what has she escaped? Think about it. You can, you can figure that out. And then a similar metaphor to describe that, right?